Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another wig unboxing. <laughs> I have two Polly Young wigs in here. Two. Both of these were on clearance, so <clears throat> colors are limited. There is a catalog in here. I already have this catalog, and there's some paperwork. <clears throat> Part of me today is one of those unruly hair days I was telling you about. And I did not wear a wig today. I just let her I just let her go. Okay, I can tell you both of these were under $30. Um, I think I did have a I had some kind of coupon. I, I know I got free ship. I think it might have just been free ship um, was the coupon I had at the time. I have two different wigs. I'm going to do, I'm going to do, have Brooklyn. And look at this little short little box. And I have a Tara. This is a long, narrow box. So this is a longer one. Let's do the longer one because I, I did a short one last time. Okay. So let's get prepped here. And yeah, this is what I'm talking about when she's un unruly. Those curls have just... <laughs> have them under their own. All right, so a little ponytail there. I have a wig grip back right here ready to go. But yes, there are a few wigs in the clearance section right now for 29 and up and I grabbed two get my ears out to make sure everything is neatly put away so this is Tara <clears throat> And Tara is a shoulder length with a bang. And to show you, there she is. So this has been discontinued. It is in clearance. And her color is F, no wait, S, F, F, I can't read. SF 51 slash 60. I know this is a silver color. It is called Silvery Moon. I have nothing in these two colors that I ordered, absolutely nothing. So I was excited to see what these colors look like. I have not looked at this yet. Paper! <laughs> Shake it first. Yes, we, oh, I can kind of see. I have, like I said, I have not, look, taking this out. Oh, that's some grainy hair there. That's that's some the cap is like gray. All right, she is pinned into the um. So let me get her out of her pins. I do keep these pins, the bobby pins, because those are really good bobby pins. And I throw this thing away. Let's try and get that bobby pin out. On the bed, you know where it goes. These are clearance. I don't have my scissors up here, do I? I took them in the bathroom. Okay. Oh, do no, no, no. I do have scissors. I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything off because this was clearance. I'm not worried about sending these back. Um. So we're gonna go ahead and cut, and I do put that back in the the box. Cannot be returned once you cut, so it's mine now. I automatically know these extenders are going to have to come all the way out. But let's look at her while we have her inside out. These wefts look like they're kind of closer together than usual. There is her tags. She has a teeny tiny little nape. Their usual Velcro extenders. I will end up probably cutting those out. The open ear tabs. Oh, that's so soft. The mole skin front, and there is the top of the cap. Okay. Let's um, go ahead and just take these extenders as 
far out as I can get them but still attached. Give her a shake like it said. And I don't have a, yeah, I have the genre no comb. She is a little permateasy. And there is a very large weft right in the back. But um, some root spray might cover that up. So maybe I should not cut that tag out. It's okay. It is okay. Some uh, root spray will probably cover that up. If not, so well. I will wear it for Halloween. <laughs> but here is the color. I do not have this color. That is beautiful. She has a bang. But yes, some root spray would probably cover that up. You're not even going to see it. She is snug. I like the color. <laughs> oh my God, I like the color. All right, let's get her situated first. Get her situated. Oh my gosh, at this color. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Actually, I mean, it's a little snug, like the ear tabs. Let me find it. Are way up here on me. Way up here. Way up here. Um, when I do the, my little splice and surgery, they do come down a little bit. Ow. I have a big paper cut on my thumb. And I just hit it. The bangs will definitely have to go to have some work done that's just um a, that's the box issue from being in the box but um we can um hot tool those no biggie we can work with those my thing is that big whiff that was in the top waking up some of that permatease color I love it bangs gotta have some work I love the color Okay, I'm gonna give it a turn. She's cute. Super cute. Okay. I think root spray would help that. It's like if I'm just holding it like that, you, you can barely see up in there. 
I think some dark root spray would help that and I am getting some I'm getting some root spray so um, yeah the whiffs on this one is kind of sad I mean it, it just is what it is right there but I think I can camouflage that think I can camouflage that. With some dark root, root spray. I mean, she's getting some good height. But. I will have to definitely do an update on the more I play with it, the better it looks, um, like camouflaging that. Because I'm getting the hair to come over and cover it just by going in and doing this. There is quite a bit of permatings. I think it wouldn't be so noticeable if it wasn't white against gray against white against gray. Um, but that's the color. It's white and gray. Alright, let me throw it back on here. See, that looks so much better. Um, that looks so much better. And I usually wash my wigs, let them soak in cold water or cool water um, before I wear them. I just, every wig I get, I wash it first and really kind of rough up the permatease. Just what I'm doing right now but yes some dark root spray or even some dark eyeshadow let me find an eyeshadow with like a dark gray. Do I have anything that's like dark gray? I don't think I do. Like right off the bat, I don't have anything like dark gray. Mm. I need just like a matte gray. I think that's too plummy. This is the um, tart. I know that was m matte. Um, get my hand underneath here. And right in here where some of these whiffs are very white. I'm just going to come in with that shadow and just kind of rub it in. Go to the next whiff, tap into that shadow, rub it in. Go to the next whiff, 
tap into that shadow, rub it in, and I'm just kind of getting in there. This is just a little pencil brush, and right where those white whiffs are, I'm going in. Right there is the whiffs. And just rubbing that, just rubbing it in. And I'm going to keep doing this for just a little bit here. This is the same thing as like root powder because root powder is just, it's, it's powder in an aerosol. That's all it is. So like the next set of white whiffs. And of course I would have to do this again when I wash it. So, but at least I know this is working. It's working. And I'm not being, you know, I'm just kind of going in there. And I'm going to go to the other side. Okay, and where was that? See, I'm, I'm, it already looks so much better. Um, I'm like, where was that one weft in the back that was like, like I saw, like where I can see you from here. <laughs> it's working. Okay, and then once you kind of have that going in, I'm going to take it and just kind of go over some of the hair just to darken that root up a little bit. Oh, there's a weft I want to cover. So I'm basically covering all of these bright white wefts that stick out like a sore thumb. And then we're gonna try it on again and see how it looks. Ha, there it is. See, it took me a while because I've been covering them up. Okay, now let's see how it looks. Give me my little brush back. I'm going to come in right in here. Yep, there's one. Right there. I'm just pulling the hair back out and getting those little white strands. And just going right over it. And then you can take the color, kind of pull it out on the hair. I'm not being gentle. I'm just blending. The color. And see now it's basically gone. Okay. And then you can take your pick. And rough that permatease back up. There's still a few whiffs in there I want to do, but that looks better than it did. So let's try that again. So I might just take a gray, if I can find like a gray permanent marker, Coptic marker or something, and go in and do all of those 
permanently so I'm not having to um do that every time I wear this girl see I'm gonna go in and probably do that one And that's all I'm doing is just rubbing eyeshadow on that white lift. And I'm pulling it down. And then see, that already helped blend it in just, just like that. So, bangs are definitely going to have to get trimmed. There are ways to help help wigs, especially these budget ones that don't always come perfect. I mean, there's ways. But that already helped a lot. Um, but a lot of these little white ones, the white wefts, I'm going to go in and cover. And this bang, I think I'm going to, it's looking like it wants to go this way anyway. Get it to um, go over. Because that looks silly. <laughs> that looks silly. So, lesson from me, don't cut that tag until you look at your whiffs. <laughs> don't cut it, which you would have just got um, store credit. But hey, it's better than being stuck with one that you can't wear. But I think that will fix the issue of those bright white whiffs showing through. And she is super cute. She is cute. I might wear her tomorrow. If I get these bangs to um to fix, I'll spray her down with water, let her dry, and then go back over her with um that eyeshadow. So I know which eyeshadow to use. That's the Tarte palette, and it's this dark gray up here. Black. It looks black. But she was twenty nine ninety nine. That's what I'm saying. For $29.99, I can work with those issues. Um, no biggie. Cute. Alrighty, guys. That is Tara. Let me know if you got Tara. And if you did, how does yours look? Let me know down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.